turbocharger, Genesis, let's go. Hello everybody, Joel back with you for another video here on the Snap-on Tool Review. Today we are going to do a brand new turbocharger in this 14 Genesis Coupe. Uh, yeah, 2014 Genesis, 2 liter turbo, no power. Um, I've already done the, uh, the scan and everything, uh, came up with a, a P0299, the infamous turbocharger, supercharger under boost code. So uh, I've already taken the air box off and, and uh, had a look at the turbo and everything and, and uh, lo and behold, I'm gonna show you what I found. Um, but I put it back together so I can run it out, ordered the turbo and uh, so here it is. So we're gonna do it today. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, first things first, we're gonna rip all this out uh, and uh, get down, strip it down so we can get the turbo out. And then I'm going to show you exactly what I found. So uh, let's just uh, get straight into it. Let's go. All right, things a little bit more exposed. Just a couple more things to take off and we can get this turbo out of here. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you, try and get you, get it in here to show you. Uh, might be able to see the turbine right there. Uh, besides barely being able to move, it has been digging into the inside of the, of the turbo casing there. And, uh, Oh, there we go. See, it's yeah. See, it has these really rough spots. So the um, there's a bunch of shaft end play right there, and it's basically just dragging and chewing up the inside of the turbine, of the inside of the turbo there. So anyway, that's why we're changing it. So uh, just gonna keep moving along. Got a couple of things left to do. Uh, a couple of hoses, coolant hoses, and that stuff, and we can get this thing out. And I got all the hoses, all the new. Uh, uh, all the new gaskets and everything for it. So, so yeah, just uh, moving right along. Let's just keep going. There's one thing I hate doing is fighting with stuff. So, let's move it out of the way. We can gain, I gain access to it. I got all the hoses off the turbo already. And then I got the turbo uh, nuts uh, to the exhaust um, that I got to take off. And that's pretty much it. And then this thing can come out. You gotta love the long, the long <coughs> snap on three, it's ratchet, so awesome. All right. And here we go, now we have access right there. Super easy to get to now. You don't have to fight with it now, perfect. All right, we are gonna take the exhaust off from the cat. Uh, way easier to do, obviously. You don't have to worry about the other bolts. Uh, they uh, come from uh, the turbo to the cat. You just take the whole cat out uh, with the turbo and a lot easier to do it that way. Dealing with two bolts rather than four um, in car, obviously. So. Uh, just take that down and, uh, and then we can bring our our exhaust up 
All right, ladies and gents, just a couple of bolts left. And we can get this turbo out of here. Good thing for new bolt or new nuts. Just drop that one. We'll figure it, we'll find that one after. Uh, what do we got? One more? Oh, yeah, one more. All right. Okay. Ah, let's get this thing out of here. Uh, carefully, without damaging other stuff. I gotta stop filming for a second. Need a different angle on this. See you when it's out, guys. Uh, and we are out. Let's move some stuff around here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we are missing one of the nuts down here. One of the nuts. Uh, they're pretty notorious to come off or come loose. Um, they're probably all gonna be a little bit loose. Ah, uh, no. Oh, just the one. Yep, yeah, that one was loose. Okay, let's get this thing apart. There's a reason why I order studs every single time. That one just tightened right up. Ah. All right. Okay, we just gotta get that one out. Um, the new turbo comes with, with studs anyway, and then there's the one stud that comes on the exhaust manifold. So I do have new studs for that one. Uh, so you just got to get this one off and we can uh, put the new turbo on it and you got a couple of lines to change you got the gaskets for those and uh, yeah we're uh, moving right along nice and smooth here not too much further done with that let's go let's get this thing off here oh, look at all that metal shaving all coming out of the turbo. Look at that, eh? So that's going to be all be going down to the cat. I'll try my best to clean that out, but uh, so we can get the new turbo put on. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back, guys. Okay, we got a couple of parts to swap over, and uh, so we can uh, get this new turbo in. Uh, new gaskets, new uh, copper copper O-rings or copper seals. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna fly right along here, get these all put in, and uh, I'll turn the camera back on when we are ready to go. Thanks, guys. Okay.
Miscellaneous parts all swapped over. We got that. Uh, I have one exhaust stud. Well, I have a bunch of studs, but I have an exhaust stud for the exhaust manifold or for the, the catalytic converter. And we got new bolts, which is uh, awesome. So I'm gonna get these on, torque this to spec and uh, put it into the car. Getting close, getting close. Not much left. Oh, hey, we got a new exhaust manifold gasket on there as well. And we can just fight with struggling or struggle getting this thing in. Uh, this is probably the worst part of it. Just the most, just the awkwardness of, of the whole thing. Uh, Oh, let's take that off later. I'm gonna leave that on for now if I can. Uh, okay. Just bracket out of the way. I got this hose. There's a hose down here that's got to be uh, just rooted in such a way. Um, I wish I could show you guys, but unfortunately, it's kind of a little hard. But uh, okay, so we're pretty much there. Fuck it. That cap's coming off, and we can just set the manifold in there. Ah, came out easier than, or went in easier than it came out, that's for sure. It's gonna move that hose down there. And uh, I got a couple of bolts down here I gotta do. Exhaust manifold we can put up right now. And uh, we're on the home stretch, guys. Good, 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 okay. Right, guys just got to put the power string pump in uh, a couple other small little minor details uh, hook it up and uh, should be able to uh, start this thing up no problem we'll take this cap off now and uh, may have to set the weight waste gate adjustment not too sure yet it does come preset so uh, hopefully everything's good there but we will check it with the GDS and uh, make sure it's within range and uh, get this car back to the customer I'll see you in a, in a half a minute here Alrighty, uh, cooling system has been uh, been filled. Uh, just gotta put the air box back in. Uh, where do we got that? Right there. And uh, should be uh, good to go. Get this customer on their way. We've had the car way too long, waiting for a turbo. Uh, Apparently they're not that easy to get, so eh, learn something new every day, right? This pipe and uh, that one there. Okay. 
And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna start it up now and uh, check the uh, check the wastegate, uh, make sure it's within uh, spec, and uh, we're gonna go from there. guys uh turbo's all in genesis is gone uh good job <laughs> uh anyway that's all i pretty much got for you today we replaced a genesis turbo two liter turbo on a 14 genesis so uh if you guys enjoyed the video remember to comment like share subscribe and uh peace out guys i will see you in the next one thanks